A map highlights every time a rejoiner complains about the UK's withdrawal from the EU, close to six years after Britons voted for Brexit. The Brexit isn't working graphic, promoted by the European Movement UK group, allows internet users to make note of their post-Brexit frustration and pinpoint that on the map. Four specific types of impact are listed on the website, these being empty store shelves, empty petrol stations, labor shortages and business impact. Users can also submit another impact notice and are prompted to tell us a little bit about the impact you experienced. The website hosting the graphic opines that Brexit clearly isn't working, and communities across the country are feeling the pressure. There is, perhaps unsurprisingly, a preponderance of complaints in and around London and the South East. It appears, however, there is no post-application approval process for the markings on the map. Two, in particular, raise questions over the collation of the data, both reporting empty shelves in Northwest India and East and Vietnam. Express.co.uk approached European Movement UK for comment on the submissions process for the map which it claims proves Brexit isn't working. On top of this, it is also unclear how those submitting reports of shortages have established that Brexit was the cause of the disruption. Former Brexit Party MEP Ben Habib said the view Brexit was to blame for, say, the cost of living crisis is nonsense. The businessman told Express.co.uk, the creation of the cost of living crisis has nothing to do with Brexit. It is a direct result of lockdowns. It is lockdowns that broke supply chains and allowed oil and gas reserves to be depleted. When economies opened up again and demand resumed, supply could not keep pace. Prices rocketed, most notably for fossil fuels which the government has been turning its back on. Mr. Habby added, the same applies to the supply of labor. The furlough scheme did not protect jobs. It kept the wolf from the door while the private sector and the jobs it offers were deeply damaged. There is now a record 5 million people on benefits. This has nothing to do with Brexit but everything to do with lockdowns. Macroeconomist Philip Pilkington has also noted that critics are wrong to pin all such issues on Brexit. On staff shortages, he earlier this year highlighted in Unheard that the government's response to Covid had forced people out of work and onto a souped-up dole. Mr Bilkington added, many realized that the dole is better where they came from on the continent, especially relative to the cost of living, and so they left. Mr Habib noted that even since lockdown ended, the government has acted woefully in dealing with the problems this created, but that, again, this was a separate issue from Brexit. He told Express.co.uk, it is government policy that is woefully inadequate in dealing with the problems created by lockdowns.
they should be reducing the cost of living by cutting taxes, instead they are increasing them. The Brexit Watch chairman did, in fact, support the notion that the government's Brexit deal is not working, though for quite a different reason than that put forward by European Movement UK, which is fighting to reverse the calamity of Brexit. Mr Habib said, it is not working because it has not delivered Brexit. We have left Northern Ireland behind and remain in a lunar orbit of EU regulations via the level playing field provisions of the trade agreement.